Now we do have Yatin Gupte, uh, CMG at uh, Ward Wizard Innovation and Mobility joining in with us. Thank you so much uh, sir for joining in with us this afternoon on ET Now. Uh, it's a pleasure having you on the show and you know I want to start by this only. 10,700 cross, quite a big of an auto win. Uh, could you share some bit more of the details in terms of uh, this auto win that's there in Philippines? What is the possibility in terms of the margin outlook that is there from this? Is it much higher in terms of the margin outlook as well as uh, by when will it be executed? Yeah, so uh, we backed this order uh, just three days back. Uh, it is from Bio International Corporation, which is a Philippines-based entity. It is backed by our Connect Group from USA. So this order, basically, uh, the order which we have received, received the PO, is for the three wheelers and the two wheelers. So three wheelers is what we have been uh, preparing this particular three wheeler since last six months. So it is driver plus ten uh, category three wheeler, which the prototype is uh, already been sent to Philippines. Uh, and it is under certification from the Transport Authority of Philippines. So order execution time would be two to three years. In these three years, we have to uh, uh, produce around 1,50,000 units of the three-wheeler. And two-wheeler orders which we have received for Philippines is around 40,000. Uh, again, uh, uh, the next step, uh, we, would, we are under preparation of four-wheeler, which would be under commercial category, 1.5 tonne. For Philippines market, it would be used for uh, end mile connectivity or end mile deliver deliveries in Philippines. Right. Uh, you know, I just want to know a bit more. So, three wheeler, two wheelers. You're looking at four wheelers also in that market. Uh, and when I'm looking at it in terms of the company's performance so far over the last couple of years, you managed to see a very strong growth. Right. That 30% growth has been sustainable in the last couple of years. Now, you know, further more expansion into three wheelers, two wheelers, commercial vehicles, right, four wheelers. What is the growth that one could be expecting going forward? How much should one be expecting here? Uh, so, top line, if you consider for this financial year, uh, other than the order which we would be executing in Philippines, uh, we are expecting somewhere around a top line of 650 crores uh, with a two wheeler share of around 60,000 vehicles we would be producing and three wheelers. Uh, uh, we'll be producing somewhere around 5,000 units. All right. Uh, hi, Yatin. This is uh, Shishti also joining in. A very good afternoon and thank you so much for your time. First of all, congratulations on a great order win. But just wanted to understand that given that the timeline is of around two to three years, uh, what could be the uh, overall contribution from the overseas markets in the next couple of years going ahead as well as for the domestic market since you have some of the other product launches lined up uh, for the domestic market as well. So if I have to take a view of the next two to three years, how will the contribution pan out uh, between the domestic as well as the overseas market? Yeah, as you correctly said that as it's a huge order, our exports would be taking uh, more uh, percentage than rather domestic sale. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a really tough time for us. We need to uh, work hard because the order is huge and time execution is too less. So this financial year, what I oversee is we would be doing around 25 to 30% uh, our share would be towards export and next financial year, I oversee that our exports would be not less than 50 to 60%. So this is what I can oversee. And Yatin also wanted to understand that since you are catering to Philippines market right now, uh, what is the uh, overall visibility to have more of the overseas orders in the couple of years ahead and also uh, give us a sense on the margins. Do, does your overseas margins are better than what you uh, get to have in the domestic markets? Any, any difference there? Yeah, true. Our overseas margins are a bit better than what we are uh, currently doing in our Indian market. Uh, the reason being uh, the quality which uh, which is required in Philippines and other part of countries. It's actually it is on EU standards. Uh, again, uh, the battery technology what we are working on uh, in our Singapore uh, R&D center, we are successful in uh, getting good margins on our batteries. So we are the only company who manufacture our own cells. And uh, this is the benefit for us. And that's the reason we were able to back this big order from Philippines, even though we had uh, tough com competitors, uh, which were there in, in Philippines market. So we, uh, what was positive in uh, our order was our complete control on batteries and cells. There we have uh, been, the, been this particular bid as, uh, and yes, it's true that the margins for our international market will be a bit better than what we are doing in Indian market. 
Okay, Atrin, thank you so much, you know, for joining in with us and, you know, giving us an understanding about uh, the auto win. Where do you see overall the industry moving, going forward, EV yeah. versus the, in India versus the globe. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining in with us. It's a pleasure having you on the show. That was the management of Wizard, uh, World Wizard right now. Uh, look at the stock, locked in upper circuit, managing to hold on to that very, very strong gain. 10,700 crores is what the auto was. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.